Wiki Sana. I want to see Jesus, part three. Part three. Now, ukitaka kuona part one na part two, nimeona already iko kwa YouTube. You'll be blessed. After message, yeah, message number three, iko already kwa YouTube. Uh, that is uh, first service, second service, third service. Ziko oriko YouTube. Na pia revival ya jana jioni. Nimeona it's so effective. In a, okay, cause the point of breakthrough. Zote ziko kwa YouTube. And the Lord you bless you. Hear this now. Kama mataka kumuona Yesu. Jia moja ya kumuona Yesu. Ni kutaka kuona utukufu wake katika jabu au kitu staki tu kuishi i want to see his level of glory in this life i want to see his level of glory in this business i want let me say this kama utadai his level unajua kuna level yake chochote tunafanya let me let me say this uh huh Siju kama umayelewa levo ya mungu. Kuna kitu kiangalia kabisa utasema this one is not for God. Amen. Na yoni kataka wedu wakari nyubaya. Na don't worry. Kama nyubayako hayonyesho tukufu wa mungu. Eda useme hivo. Let God know what to do with it. Do you know tunahopa kusema kitara ni kibaya. Nyumba ni mbaya. Kwa maana nyimbo zingine tumeimbiwa zinatufanya tukubali. Na tunatumia Biblia vizuri tukisema contentment and whatever. Listen carefully. The more una grow, the more kuna utukufu you should discern. And I'm saying this by the grace of God. Ukitaka kumuona Yesu na uwezo wake, see his glory in something or somebody. Haya, number one. His level of work and intervention. Level yake ya kazi na level yake ya kuingilia mambo. Nataka kiwango chake cha kazi. Na kiwango chake anapo ingilia hali. Mutu na kau sema mungu wangu. Ingilia hii vita. Ingilia hii kesi kukotini. Mbwana na komba sasa. Nataka kuona Levo yako ya kazi. Unapotaka buwana aonekane kwa levo yake katika jabo fulani. Actually, unauda ofisi ya Yesu kwa ile jabo. Let me prove it. Daniel, walipo eda Babylon, he created an office for God. Sari mieni. Hakukuwa na ofisi ya Jehovah huko. Babylon kulikuwa na miungu ya sanamu. Babylon, Mufamed ya likuwa kisema kutaabudiwa nini. Somebody came in and created an office for God. Daniel katika Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Bible says, na Danieli akamua na wenzake. Hatuta jitia unajisi kwa chakure ya ufame. In other words, we want his way. And you want his level of intervention. Hatuta kula. Hatuta jitia unajisi. Inchi ambao haikuwa na jua Jehovah. Kukatokea space for Jehovah. Na hapo dipa isema. Tupatiwe manji na mtama. Na baada ya siku kumi tuangaliwe. Ikaonekana after ten days. Nyuso bola. Miri mkubwa. Kwa maana kitedo kile. Kiliuda ofisi ya Jehovah. God is waiting for that in your marriage. God is waiting for that in your business. Create an office. He will take over. Unajua kuna vio naishi. Unasema nakochea buwana. Lakini hakuna spesi yake. Hakuna spesi yake. Wakati unasema nataka jia yake in this issue. Nataka akili yake in this issue. Nataka uku waka in this issue. You are actually creating a space. Na yu ni, weka base. Na yu ni space ambao ni ajabu sana. And God you bless you. Kitu kingine ni ambao kinafanya utukufu waka katika mambo itoke. Utukufu waka, I say base. Utukufu waka katika mambo itoke ni kwamba ni kufanya 
ahadi za Bwana ziwe true. <coughs> ahadi dio hii nataka kuona ikitimia. Alisema hivi nami nimeamua kufika level ya utukufu wake katika jina la Yesu Kristo jina la Yesu Kristo jina la Yesu Kristo bwana ainuliwe sana we also I need base in the speakers haya now kitu kingine ni kwamba kuna kitu kinaitwa merciful and gracious acts of god able to end katika katika John chapter 2 verse 11 Yohana 2 aya ya 11 na moja. Yohana 2 aya ya 11 na moja. Biblia inasema hivi This beginning of signs The beginning of signs Jesus did wapi kana ya Galili <laughs> Bwana sana and manifested his glory and his disciples believed mwanzo wa ishara za Yesu <coughs> kana ya nini ya galili ambazo ziliweka wazi utukufu wake mpaka wale walioanza kumfuata kwa maana alikuwa amewaita tu John 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 and then ikafika pahali kana ya galili kukatokea utukufu wa Bwana kwa muujiza Yesu alifanya Bible says disciples believed in him amen haya sikizeni ukitembea na Yesu kuna kitu kinaitwa utukufu glory na hiyo ni kitu we need to understand ni nini huwa ndani ya utukufu haya Ukiangalia vizuri haya like kana ya galili utukufu ulionekana watu wakaamini Ukienda Yohana 11 John 11 verse 4 Yohana 11 aya 4 When Jesus heard that he said this sickness is not unto death but for the glory of god that the son of god may be glorified through it nataka kusema ni kwa beza bwana jesus ako katika barabara ya kutukuka na kama hiyo barabara hatutaikanyanga hatutakuwa na amani now you see anasema hivi na huu ugonjwa si wa kifo ni ugonjwa uko hivi ili verse uh, haya verse 4 uko hivi il, for the glory of god that the son of god may be glorified through it did you see that ukienda the same john 11 verse 20 Yohana sura ya 11 aya 20 And the, then Martha, Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went to meet him and Mary was sitting in the house. Now, ukienda utaona mama kubwa ambao inatanjwa hapo. End of verse 20. Wakati Yesu alienda Bethany Kristo akasema hivi Did I not say to you if you would believe you would see the glory of God Bwana Yesu asifiwe Now nataka uone barabara ya Yesu Huyu ndiye Yesu ameenda katika nyumba ya kina Martha na kina Mary na Sakayo Uh, no Lazaro amekufa. And then Kristo anasema hivi. E Martha na Mary, especially Yesu aliongea akasema hivi, aliongea na Martha. Akamwambia wewe, mimi nilikuwa nimekuambia kwamba ukiamini 
na uniamini mimi na unifuate kuna mahali tutafika utaona utukufu wa Mungu nilikwambia tu hata kama hujui mengi we niamini tu nitakuogoza na kuna stage utafika na you will see my glory haleluya brothers and sisters in this service waweza kuwa hujui mengi lakini i want to believe god in this manner mambo mengine ni magumu kwa mtu mengine ni magumu kwa akili yako lakini yesu anakuambia just follow me in this issue anasema hivi kuna mahali tutafika katika ugumu na uzito huu nitakufundisha lesson ambayo inaitwa kuona utukufu wangu Ah ni mohaba kuambia kwamba wapendwa jia moja itafanya in your life uone Mungu na uone utukufu wake ni kufuata Yesu hata kama huelewi ni kufuata Yesu kwa yale ameanzisha na wewe ni kufuata Yesu kwa safari fulani mnaingia umeanza kuona ni ngumu umeanza kuona ni kuzito umeanza kuona sasa inapita akili but Christ is saying to you wewe kama ni mimi nimekuambia nifuate just follow me for somewhere somehow i'll teach you my glory nitakufundisha nitakufundisha i want to pray for your journey fresh Umeanza kitu ambao ni Yesu alikwambia uanzishe. Kimeanza kuleta shida. I command you stay on as long as Jesus ako mbele yako. Hata kama wewe unasikia ni mjinga kuhusu hiyo safari. Christ is saying to you, kaa tu nyuma yangu na unifuate. I will show you my glory. Jesus Christ katika huduma hii show me your glory amen you know one time to recall na rafiki yangu pastor roni i preach the church akasema bishop you know south africa sometimes ni kugumu kwa maana ni vigumu sana kuona mzungu kwa ibada ambaye mtu mweusi anahubiri anaweza miracle na tulia da venda kanisa moja kubwa sana la wazungu nikaona apostolic faith nikaambia siniingia kama bishop don't enter it is our church but ni ya wazungu sasa i got a chance kuhubili kile kindi store ni kwamba i don't know what happened wazungu wakawa wengi sana na kilicho nitia hovu ni, mus, ni wazuku walioongea pale nyuma i was told by one of our bishop walikuwa nasema can god can god use this feedback here can god use a black man that way that's too bad eh but it's okay hallelujah and but no the church iko na utukufu wa hali ya juu blessings blessing kuna makanisa jameni unakuta hata serikali ikiagalia inaona this church ni kubwa and that's no brother niambie siri what happened he had only one answer bishop the glory came <laughs> kwa nini watu wanatoa billions bishop i have simple answer the glory came Alipoanza huduma jameni ujamaa alikuwa kigugumizi eh alikuwa anastama hage maliza jina Jesus na anapenda hiyo sana akatupwa kwa slums huku chini one to discover alipoanza kuhubiri ulimi ukapona waligudua akiwa na blanches tano today dio ako na kanisa tajiri sana Johannesburg and God is blessing him amefungua assembly moja assembly 4000 come here how bishop the glory came i am be a bishop i followed jesus nikiwa atakutamuka jina yesu ni shida Sikujua kutatokeaje on the way nikasikia ulimi umepona 
on the way nikapata fema ya utajiri wa huduma usio wa kawaida on the way hallelujah kuna pahali wapendo wa katika hii kazi kuna pahali katika barabara tuliyochukua the glory is coming i said musitoke kwa jia musitoke kwa jia Musitoke kwa jia na musivujike moyo na usiwe na mawazo ya kigeni kaa kwa Yesu the glory is coming in Jesus Christ name Karibu baba leo ni semeji hararoya I don't know how ya besha ile Abarikiwe sana Uni pasa rafiki yangu sana na ndiye baba wa Angare Kwa hivyo siku ya rushu ninaona mahali atakuwa meketi Mubarikiwe sana. Haya, thank you, thank you. Welcome, ma'am. Now, are you hearing this? Muko tayari somewhere. Bwana alete utukufu utakao uona. Yes. Now, statement about Yesu alisema ni hivi. Nilikwambia wewe, ukiniamini utaona utukufu. My work is to believe and his work is to take me to the level of glory. Katika huduma hii na maisha haya, pigia Yesu makofi kama unamwamini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another level about mutu jipata. Mungu mmeonana kabisa. Ni kwa kati ambapo unapata his justice. Kuna mambo mtu upitia ambao jameni umekaliwa. I remember one time something happened baba yangu akafa somebody alimwoga na gari akamweka boot akamtupa kwa mrango wa kwetu akiwa karibu kufa na tukawa na case high court kesi hiyo ilipoisha we won lakini prosecutor akatuita kaza you people hatuelewi mume win hii kesi vipi pesa imemwagwa huku wakajaribu kuipindua kuipindua akashidwa huyu mama mwenye mume wake amewawa kwani una nguvu gani and my mother said ni Jesu <laughs> ni Jesu <laughs> let me say this Chris, kuna wakati katika hii maisha haki yako utaiona kwa Kristo kuingilia you can see Jesus atakapokuletea your justice kuna haki ambao ni yako men cannot give kuna haki yako ambao dunia imekunyima na njia moja ya kumuona mwokozi ni Yesu katika uweza na nguvu zake kuachilia my justice Jesus katika hii kesi na katika watu wasionielewa na katika huduma na katika hali nyingi naomba bwana kwa maana do you know how you need your justice kwa sababu mugu die ajuae siri na udani na mipango yake juu yako maishani kuna mambo ambao hutokea ambao unajua kabisa mioni mwako una usafi lakini dunia inakuwapandika mambo. Amen. Unajua kabisa umeombea watu. Umejinyima miaka yote na wanakuambia una akili. Kama sisi ambao nyinyi mnakalia viti you are okay. Tulianza na shida kubwa. Lakini shida nzuri sababu ya huduma. Sometimes mtu aweza tu nielekeza kidole hivi ni nyamaze nishidwe sasa does he know ni nini paka na nyamaza tu and then unasema Mungu kwa maana hawataelewa kwa maana mambo mengine tumepitia hata wazee wa kanisa hawajui some of the deep sufferings that are tukiogea mambo ya msii those are stories za juju Ulizeni mwenye alikuwa pasta ni nini you no know, when people talk about the MCA Ulizeni mwenye pasta ni tabu gani alipitia kuzaa kanisa 
and sacrifice your family. Abao, mabo mengine tu asema ni mugu ata toa record tu kifika binguni na alipe. Why? Kwa maana kuna kitu na jua. Kulingana mugu na mtumikia. There is no way justice ya mungu itakosa kujua. Hallelujah. Buduki ambazo tumemiss kwa barabara hapa usiku tukitebea hatuna fair. I remember the other day, mahali nipitia tu nikapata wanaume. Wakanyanga ya saa, nimetoka huduma. Kuzidikisha wadugu na wandada. Moja kato wakisu wa niwe. Mweza kambi, usiwe huyu. Na mengine, 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 mengine. Na mengine, 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 mengine. And I tell you, friends, by God's grace, is only God who can give justice Kwa maana, udani wa ukweli wa moyo, Jehovah dia naujua. Na one thing you need to know, usi, usidai haki yote kwa watu. Hawa jui yote. Hawa jui yote. And that's why, pastor, we are still bishops. Mimi sidai haki kwa kanisa la apostolic faith sana. Kwa maana, Kabra hamuja tokea. Jehovah likuweko akiniita. Na, hello, please God. Buwana sa sana. Sisi ya tukua, actually, sisi ya tukufugua makanisa. Sisi uliachwa. Pa! Unamba sasa balikiwa. And then, you unamini tu mungu. Sometimes, haki ya mabo mengine. You, it's only God who can understand. Na kitu kimoja kitafanya uone Yesu. Ni kumuachia akutete. Ni kumuachia akupiganie. Ni kumuachia mabie buwana. Hata kama sitaona yote leo. Peana kiasi. Hata kama haki yangu sitapata yote leo. Kuna ina nitapata Yesu ukiniita binguni. Achilia kiasi. Ile Daudi alisema vindicate me, vindicate me. Ili hawa watu wajue kabisa ni wame niita. Kuna kitu wabao ni, mu, ni mungu tuwa kudaya yako. Simu, even your husband. Hana your justice. Wamama munadai kwa umezenu, waome munadai kwa mama, ukisukuma muka wako sana utajua, kuna justice yako hajui na haelewi. Mwa, wacha tu afanya mahali anajua. Mengine ni mungu atakupa. Aonae bali na ajuae dani na upana. Pigeni u mungu makofi. <laughs> Hallelujah! Kuna wakati unafiko sema, baba na kushukuru kwa mano naishi. Kwa maana kama mungu kekua sanamu, situinke kuwa wapi mimi. I give you praise my God because you are living. Kama uke kuwa hai, situinke kuwa wapi. Oh, mungu waishia poke sifa. Mungu wanae ona poke sifa. Mungu wanae jari poke sifa. Mungu wanae tuazia mema poke sifa. Hallelujah! To God be the glory. Oh yes, nataka kuona his justice. Ni mungu tu abai. Ata kama sisi tunajaribu juu chini. Lakini ire hali ya kwa ba, God is not a respecter of persons. It is truly with God. Impartiality. Mungu asie na upendeleo. Mungu abai haezi pitwa na ukweli. Mungu ambaye ukiumwa na meno anajua meno huumaji. Mungu ambaye unaposema una mguu na umwa he knows what it means to pain. Mungu ambaye unapomwaga machozi anajua ni nini hiyo ni nini hiyo. Haiwezi kumpita. I tell you haiwezi kumpita. I sema katababu the Lord we serve is so sensitive and so just. Kwa mba kama ni yaya unadai haki yako. Kwa bia utaipata. Na utahubiri miaka mingi. Na familia yako takai miaka mingi. Unanjua haki yako kamiri. Huka ipata kwa muka wako. Huka ipata kwa mwame wako. Kwa maana hakuna mepewa uwezo kukupa yote. But God is living. 
God is living. Now that's what I'm, I'm saying. Ukimfuata vizuri, kuna vituo katika safari. Ataanza kufanya mambo mengine mengi ya mekwekea. Vituo, vituo, vituo. In Jesus Christ's name. If you want to see Christ, jia moja kumuona Yesu, ni kupenda kuona haki ambao yepeke ake diapeana. In Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Buwana asifu sana. Now, kitu kikina ni kwamba, mungu wakati wa wote, analevo yake ya utukufu. Na kuna levo yake ya akiri. Na kuna levo yake ya jabu. Kuna wakati mutu usimama. Unauliza mungu. Levo yako ya hii crusade ni gani? Levo yako ya kanisa la bahati baba ni gani? Levo yako bwana ya nyumba yangu ni gani? If you allow God to give you his level of glory, utamuona. Lakini uki, ukiwa defensive, Kwa mana kuna wakati kanisani na ini kitu wabao tu ikime tusubua. Watu ujikiga. We, set God free to speak. Mugu kwa mana na ito kush. Shijo kush. Na nakama ringo. Na nimeomba mwema musiana kutoka. Nekarati nakana. Kale mwema thai. Hallelujah. You see, kuna kitu kina itua, his level. Na weza fanya kazi hii ya Yesu, lakini ni miss his level. Na weza ongoza kanisa, lakini I struggle so much, kwa maana kuna mahali buwana alitaka ni musikize, aniambie level yake utukufu ni kakata. Unaweza fanya biashara na ikuwe na confusion na ikawie sana. Kuna bahari mugu alikuwa natako kufudisha level yake ya utukufu of that business na ukamunyima yu ofisi. Mugu upenda kurosiwa. Kwa maana diya mwenye uhai wangu na diya aliniamusha asubui. He has a level. He has a level. He has a level. Amen. Do you know kwa nini some people perform. They want his level. Three other one day, Jerusalem Arena. And there was a meeting into empowerment. Now, Mkutano Kipangwa, while it's a man who is a level in the Jewish dunia, every world, every part of the world. Now, Wakaleta, Waibaji, si Waibaji, Wale, Wamita, waibaji wa makanisa wanaojua kuingia bere za Bwana That time nilitamani sana mama Faith idhaiga twende huko Bwana Si ndio dada Nitamani tuko baba Jimmy baba Jimmy kaona mesimama huko mno Nikajua boza nikiona huyo Yeah the music jamani the worship the move of God Jamaa nasimama tu salamu tu peke yake hivi you sense the move of God. You sense. Mutu wa mekua pahari hapo. Akioba maybe for four hours. Practice amefanya. Anatafta sasa level ya mungu ya madhabahu. Amen. I saw one in South Africa, Jamani, alitokea tu na guitar. Because ametoka wapi? Kwa madhabahu kuna mulango wa kutokea. Worshippers hawa toki na mulango wa inje. Kwa madhabahu, kama ni mimi ni kwa ni mefugiwa pahali, ni kapa bishop gojea mugu for six hours. Wao hawa wezi ruhusu uubiri madhabahu yao ukiwa umetoka inje. Ata kama kwa kwa program. Wanakuambia now, kama nabiri five, tafadhali wanakufugia pahali saine. Unabua gai huroka. Kama uja funga, hii ni simu, ita shakura. Lakini tafani man of God, be, be before God. Unafugiwa. Sasa utajua, utachukuru walini. Lakula jua kama jio jio. Biasa mimi, na wakati umefugiwa hapo, wakona clean kubwa, wacha hizi. Ina, ni kama hii marabili. Picha yako, 
Picha yangu liko na yako hapo inaandikwa a prophet of God man of God from Kenya how is he a prophet na hajui kama naomba Arabu na weko na watu wengi nikiwa wakati walikuwa wameabudu nini na nini kuna murango natokea hapa nyuma si murango wa kutoka kwa gari uingie ni murango wa kutoka kwa room uliofungiwa ugoje Mungu you know why they want his level of glory they want his level of glory kama watamani wiyoso na kama na wengine his level of glory katika chochote unafanya jameni utaanza kuona baraka utaanza kuona baraka utaanza kuona baraka kama unafagia choo ya kanisa ifagie katika level of his kama wewe una yani Mungu angetaka mtu anayetamani his level hapo dipo sasa utashagaa things you be changing hallelujah i got there's a thing i'm born with one i'm not finishing now we bomoja as i the whole month just sio nying sio cd yote a song kitabo atoe wimbo kama ana nyimbo sita as a pair at a wimbo two months moja atatoa wimbo december and i saw something unique something unique unakuta mwezi huu amefunga wiki mbili a wimbo utokee aurudie 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 mpaka atakaposikia huo wimbo ukitokea it will be his level of glory kuna kawaida tu ya kusema tuibe tu na nataka nyote mlio hapa kama umepewa nafasi ya kuokoza ibada enda kwa Mungu kama umepewa nafasi ya keyboard eh? sasa unasema nitaka kuchezea kanisa la bahati keyboard the level of his glory Staki kushika tu microphone niongoze wimbo i want nikiba tu wimbo moja the church will shake and the anointing will flow because it is his level when you hear that jesus you appear Amen. Unajua I saw something wakati governor alikuja kutembea hapa uh, uh, Fred Kebemia. Ana uh, uh, tulikuwa kwa ofisi. So atukushuka kwanza tukabwa amefukuja. Gari kawekwa pare. Bodyguard hawezi kuadaleti yeye. Lazima wamweke level ya governor. Pare kwa gate. Na hata toka mpaka levo yake ya kupokelewa itokee na alika kwa gari bodge sound now where is bishop oh bishop is okay nami wakakwacha watu wangu wakuje unavile sasa mnapaka raini kwa kutuza mtu bishop are you ready can we now open the door kama angekuja akute wa susi pale mama faith dio namkaribisha bishop hayuko ataritoka ofisi hata kama ana upedo kiasi gani hata rudi hapa kwa maana anajijua si anajijua ni mkubwa mugu hujijua ni mkubwa hata kama wapendwa anajijua mugu knows atakiwa kuheshimiwa vipi na mugu anajua huduma yake hatumfundishi na kama hatutainuka kama hii microphone yake na haa madhabahu ni yake kama hatutainuka tumuulize anataka tuseme nini na anataka kutenda nini na anataka kusema nini tutatokea tu tuseme mambo yetu there is an issue kwamba although god loves us he not appear hallelujah do you know kuna pahali mtagojea tukiwa vijana wadogo kuna wakati tuligojea kenyata na hakuja Hello. Amen. They tell us if president is to come here 
next month mipango yake inaanza maybe 2 months before or a month before na hii kanisa inaanza kuchunguzwa more than a month na CID watachunguza hiyo ile mpaka isiri kutakuwa na usalama mpaka watakapojua heshima yake iko now he has come I pray that God will soon understand. Heshima yake iko tayari. Now Jehovah you can come. Hallelujah. Baba tumeelewa heshima yake yako ya huduma ni gani. Otherwise wapendwa kama Mungu utajua ni nini huwa nataka. Heshima yake kwa praise, heshima yake kwa sound, heshima yake kwa madhabahu, heshima kwa mic. Although anatupenda, aweza kawia. I I pray that God raise you. I pray that God raise you. And sometime ni vizuri kuuliza baba, where is your glory? And God ugetaka ni oh my God, my God. Kwa maana umenituma nikahubiri. You know one day nilito eh uh, open air na youth. Kawaida tu isma open air. Lakini kaichukua with all my heart. Nilikuwa nihubiri the third day. So nikafunka siku tatu just for an open air. I asked God, huo muda wa dakika 30 nitapewa ugetakaje baba? And I remember God told me utakaposimama nitaokoa watu 15. Tulipoenda kuhubiri tulikuwa na tufika tuingia tutopevi. Tukatutoi sauti Mama Fedu na zika mlikuweko. Yeye anapenda tunaimba. Hakuna mtu anatusikiza hata kuku na umba zinapita tu huku. Na kile nilijua watu wa sifa wa kisifu walikuwa wanavunjika moyo. Umeiokoza mkutano mpaka kauliza uta, utaisha lini? Ni wako mile. <laughs> si ndio? Nikakiri watu wa praise. Wow. But you know something? Mimi siko na na ukavu. Niko watanipatia microphone lini. Kwa maana nimenenewa. Ripo si mama nikasema watu wote wanaopita si mama wakasimama. Mnaosha guo tokeni kwa nyumba. Watu wakaja hapo. 10 minutes kuliko kupenja. Hallelujah. And God saved the 15. Na wengi wakaponywa. It was his level. Nilikuwa nimemuuliza utafurahia huduma utafurahia biashara yako utakapoelewa his level his level may god bless you may the lord anoint you in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah na diposa wakati mwingine mungu anaambia watu kama bahari ya shamu tulieni nyama zeni patieni mungu has a level and space Anasema sasa kama hatutaki sauti zenu hatutaki maoni ya mtu tulieni wakatulia be still and silent wakaabua mkitulia mtaonyeshwa na mtasikia hapo ndio Musa aliongea God's level akasema how adui mnao waona hamtawaona tena milele God brought his level Level yao waliogopa. God's level milele wanaenda. Alafu kabuaje? Moses. Yes, abia watu wa soga bere. Hakuna misi, hakuna marenge ya misi tena. Soga bere. Bahari ikiweka tu wakasoga. Musa kabua, nyosha vipo. Bahari iliyokuwa ndio kiziwisi ikawa highway. Kukatokea his level of ministry and his level of glory odoa kelele yako odoa mambo yako muulizeni anatakaji muulizeni wacha maoni ya how people see you that's not the issue things start from kingdom mungu wa milele wabariki tusimwe tushukuru bwana